Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Vlog. I am glad, I'm excited to be back. And I'm here this afternoon to deliver to you Chelsea news update. Tonight is our match night, Chelsea Tottenham. But before I go into that, later on in the day, I want to give you the news update on injury. <clears throat> Chelsea injury update, as it came up yesterday, according to the coach. Yes, I was waiting for some confirmation to see the players that might be available for tonight's game. And that is why I didn't bring you the full details yesterday. But this afternoon, I want to let you know that Levi Kowal is in team training. <laughs> Chelsea injury update. Levi Cowell is back in team training. Christopher Nkuku in team training. These are full team training. Christopher Nkuku is back in full team training. Yes, get that from me this afternoon. Rhys James in partial team training. Dear friend, Robert Sanchez in partial team training. Raheem Sterling in partial team training. Leslie Ogochuku in partial team training. Axel Disasi undergoing medical assessment. Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva. We didn't know he even sustained injury in our last game against Aston Villa. Now we are getting to know. Undergoing rehabilitation. Yes. Undergoing rehabilitation, dear friend. Now, there are about 14 players on injury. 14 players on injury. Enzo Fernandez undergoing rehabilitation. Kanechukwemeka. Kanechukwemeka undergoing rehabilitation. Ben Tewell undergoing rehabilitation program. Malogusto undergoing rehabilitation program. Wesley Fofana continue to undergo his rehabilitation program. Last but not the least. Romeo Lavia, Romeo Lavia, continue to undergo his rehabilitation program. Like him, we understand he will not be back this season. We only see him hopefully next season. Next season. And I want to believe Wesley Fofana will be the same next season. We will not be seeing them this season at all. Yes, we might not be seeing them. It is made very clear, both Wesley Fofana and Romeo Lavia until next season, there is nothing to do about their situation. Now, tonight's game, meaning Chelsea will be without Thiago Silva, Axel de Sassi, Chris James, Ben Chiwell, Fofana, and Malogusto. These are all supposed to be our starters in our defense. Thiago Silva is not there with his experience. The Sassi who is next is not there. Meaning we have only Badia Shelley and Kukurela. We all know how vulnerable Badia Shelley is. We know it. How vulnerable Badia Shelley is. Now he's going to be there with Kukurela, Mark Kukurela. Who else? Alpha Gilchrist. I'm not here to give my team lineup or prediction. Who remains at the back for us? We, as, we are as down as we can be at this moment when it comes to our defense. Facing Tottenham tonight, dear friend, I am not too sure. I'm yet to get my team lineup, my predicted lineup. But Silva is out, Disas is out, James is out, Tiwa is out, Fofana and Malogusto. We only have starters by their Shelley. And Marco Crella. And we know how vulnerable Badia Shelley is at that centre back. Alpha Gilchrist never started a game that I can remember. He comes in as a sub. In my next or in my predicted lineup, I'll, you'll see what I'm going to bring up. But quickly, right now, this is your breakfast. Let me see. Yeah, it is my lunch. <laughs> uh, Yes, it is my lunch anyway. Okay. So let me go quickly to some other news regarding tonight's match or some other Chelsea news. In remember, I am Madsen played a game last night. I am Madsen. His father blasted Chelsea. Yeah. His father spoke angrily regarding the player's situation. 
And this is what he said. He said, he is developing well here. That's in Dortmund. And things have not gone well since they changed ownership. That's Chelsea. A lot at that club also revolves around money, which sometimes seems more important than the club's interest. Sometimes seems more important than the club's interest. That is the owners. They value money more than the club's own interest. This is from our Martin's father. Do you see his performance in the last night game against PSG? Let me, by the way, I just don't know why Poch didn't like him. Because of height. But Makukrela is equally not tall. And if you watch the work rate of I am Madsen. He is very aggressive in attacking. He is very aggressive in his defensive work. Is he always about height when it comes to left back? I don't think so. Now, okay, for instance, right now, the squad is depleted with injuries. And Madsen is injury free. <laughs> ah. Well, 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 well. Dear friend, the fact remains that Chelsea, we made some silly mistakes by some of the players we sent out on loan. Yeah. It remains so. But quickly, before I let you go, dear friend, I want to let you understand that as it stands, Ben Chiwell has taken Mikhail Omoidrik under his wing to help him settle in London and adapt to English football. That has been the work Ben Chiwell has been doing. That's the picture you can see on the screen. He has taken Mikhail Omoidrik as his personal friend, you know, taking him through London to know the city better, to enjoy his football, to get acclimatized from the beginning till now. That's the picture right there. That's just by the way. That is just by the way. But before I let you go, dear friend, yesterday I spoke exclusively about our striker options now it has come to the news i saved the best for last <laughs> yes napoli napoli's victor osime remains chelsea's top priority get it from me it is not about, about what i will say on this channel it is about, about what chelsea wants we will, we will analyze we will talk our opinion we will say whatever we think but what Chelsea and its owners want to do is what they will do. Now, Napoli's Victor Osimhen remains Chelsea's top priority. Chelsea want to do their due diligence on other options. And Ivan Toni is towards the top of their list alongside Inter Milan's Lautaro Martinez. And RB Lisbeck pair, Benjamin Sesco, which I spoke about some days ago, and Lois Openda, according to Graham Bailey. So, dear friend, yes, I might speak my mind, but Chelsea has a different mindset. Victor Osime remains Chelsea's top priority. Get that into your head. It is not about what I will say. We only analyze the players. We take the players one by one. We look at them critically. We see their style of play, whether it fits into Chelsea's style. We now come out to speak on it, what we think. That is why I always encourage you also to speak your mind. And right now, still do so. Like the video, share the video. Let me hear from you in the comment section. Victor Osim to remain Chelsea's top priority. Dear friend, I want to hear from you. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to the channel. And let me know from you what you think about all that I've said. I will see you in the next one before coming out with my team lineup prediction. And then remember tonight, Chelsea Tottenham. I will come up with all in a later part of the day. See you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.